we've given everything to protect our children. And we have to go on doing that. And not, not to be worried about, um, I mean, so much goes on in politics is so utterly irrelevant. And it, it never addresses the things that we really need to do. We need to learn how to be in love again. We, we knew that. I mean, look at, if you look at situations in, in Cro-Magnon, France, um, 13,000 years ago, you've got to believe that these were groups of people who loved each other, they loved being alive, they loved uh, the mystery of what it is to be alive, they tried to work out the complexity of life by painting in cave walls. They were, they were fully alive human beings, and I'm hard-pressed to say what it is that we have today that they didn't have then. They knew how to take care of each other. And in every broken village I've been in, in Africa, in Australia, in the High Arctic, I've been with people who you, you, could, you could build anything with these people because they have suffered, they have suffered the, 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 the tsunami of, of colonization and they have survived and they continue to raise their children. And their children, of course, are committing suicide in unprecedented numbers, but they will not quit. And we can't quit either. We have to go to them and make common cause the same way people our age have to go to young people at places like this university and make common cause and find out what it is that we can build together.